Let us now take a look at a second example of converting Python code into C code. So here I have a Python function that calculates the multiplicative inverse of a given integer n and as you can see it returns a float. Now before we try and run this code on Python Tutor, our friend immediately spots an error in this Python code. Line 2, I have used an assignment statement instead of a test for equality. So let's take a look at how this error is revealed on Python Tutor. So here we are on Python Tutor. Let us try and visualize this buggy code which has an assignment statement instead of a test for equality on line 2. So when we click on visualize execution, the interpreter is running and the interpreter was trying to complete this definition of this function and it failed on line 2. It gave us this syntax error. This is not a compiler error. Remember, Python is not a compiled language. The interpreter is trying to convert our given Python code into assembly code by interpreting it line by line and it was unable to interpret this statement. This is illegal Python syntax. Now we get the same kind of syntax error if we try to run the interpreter from the command line. Here I am running my interpreter. I say python3 inverse.py if I have saved this as a file called inverse.py and once again I will get the same type of error message. My interpreter is warning me that perhaps instead of, instead of single equal I meant double equal or this other operator colon equal. This is sometimes called the walrus operator. Uh, you can look this up. It's an advanced uh, operator in Python. But in any case, we know this code is incorrect. This, of course, should have been a test for equality. Now, although this is illegal Python syntax, let us try and see what would happen if we tried to convert this illegal Python code into C uh, using a similar error, using an assignment operator instead of a test for equality. What would happen if we try to compile this C code? So here's a screenshot where I have tried to compile this file inverse.c using the GCC compiler and notice that I get no error message on the next line. There is no syntax error. This code is legal C code. It compiles. This will actually produce an executable file a.out which I could try and run. If I run that code, however, I will get an error. Let's take a look at this error on Python Tutor. So here is our C code using the assignment operator. When we click on visualize execution, this code will compile successfully and then it will actually run successfully until line 8. Then we will get an error. Now I want to tell you that if you scroll down carefully, you will see the error message. But you will also see some compiler warnings and one of those warnings is telling you that this statement on line 5 is perhaps not what you meant. Let's take a closer look at this compiler warning. So the compiler is telling us that on line 5 we have this if condition if n equals 0 and it's telling us that it suggests parentheses around assignments used as truth value. This is a very dense and terse piece of technical language. What is the compiler trying to tell us? Well, to understand this, we have to remember that in Python, a statement like this is an assignment statement. Whereas in C, this is an expression, which means that not only will this set n equal to 0, 
but this whole piece of code has a value associated with it which you can then use in some other context. In particular, an assignment in C evaluates to a value which is whatever is on the right hand side of the assignment. So to understand what is going on in the C code, let us go back to Python Tutor and follow the steps until we hit the error. So what I'm going to do is click on this button first. This will take the execution right to the start. Remember in a C program, execution starts from int main. So let's follow this until we hit the error. So we click on next and in main we have a variable n which is currently uninitialized but here we are initializing its value to 1001. So when we click on next we see that value here. Now we're about to call the inverse function. I will explain this printf syntax in a short while. For now let us jump to the inverse function. The, there is a parameter n which is a local variable which is different from the n in main and currently that value is uninitialized. We will understand how data is passed in C in a short while. But now this parameter n is initialized with the argument 1001 and now we come to the statement. How is this statement evaluated in C? Well, remember it's an assignment statement. So it's going to set this n to 0, not the one in main, but this one in 0. But then an assignment statement in C is an expression. So it has a value. It has the value equal to the right hand side. So this assignment evaluates to 0. So it's as if we said if 0. And here we have a similarity between C and Python. Remember, 0 is false C in Python. Exactly the same thing happens here. Any non-zero value is truthy and 0 is false C for C. So this will do two things. It will set n equal to 0, but then this will evaluate to false and so the red arrow will not go into the if condition. So we will come to line 8 and now we are about to do 1 divided by 0 and that of course causes an error. The specific error is integer divide by 0 and that is why the code fails. But notice we did not get any kind of compiler error. We did get a warning and it's a very, very good practice when you are learning C programming to pay attention to any warnings that the compiler gives you.